Tonight, the Port Arthur City Council voted to rename government buildings in honor of community trailblazers and ceremonially renamed two streets. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Now the votes were unanimous and the community excited. Our 12 News reporter Simona Barca joins us now in studio with those highlights. These items were put on the agenda by Councilman Cal Jones, who says this is something he's looked forward to for a while. He says Port Arthur has many distinguished members in the community, and this is one way to celebrate them. Giants in the community now being memorialized on the streets of Port Arthur. This is an honor for my family, uh, for my grandmother, for them to honor her. Brianna King is the granddaughter of Inel Ross Moore, a woman of many firsts. She was the first African-American professor at Lamar Port Arthur. She was the first African-American teacher at Sam Houston. My grandmother served this community in so many aspects. She loved this community. Now, the City of Port Arthur Development Services Building will be renamed after Inel Ross Moore. I would say my grandmother was a giant. I did a paper on the person I admired the most when I was in elementary, and it was her. But I, had I didn't know at that point that my grandma was the first of everything. She was the, to be the first African American to go and, you know, teach at a school. That's, that's an honor. Another honorary, Judge Kermit Charles Morrison Jr. The municipal court building will soon be renamed after him. His wife spoke of her husband's integrity and his decades on the bench. She says they met in law school. She saw him reading a case in class and she knew. The council honored two more community giants, honorarily renaming Blue Bonnet Avenue in honor of Reverend Samuel Joseph Sr., who was a pastor at Shiloh Baptist Church for over 40 years, and renaming Granis Avenue in honor of Russell Getwood, PAISD's first African-American truant officer. Now it's important to note the street name changes are honorary, which means a sign will be added to the existing street name. It won't change residents' addresses. Simona Barca, 12 News.